Good, Good morning, morning super, super readers. readers. Thank you for joining us in our Valley PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Nix. I'm Mrs. Vang. I'm Mrs. Hammock. And this is a place for us to learn, practice, and grow, grow our brains. brains to become even stronger readers, writers, and thinkers. So let's get started by warming up our brains with some ear training called Daily Phonemic Awareness. And what is that? That's just training our ears. So turn on those ears and get ready to listen for some sounds. Now today, we're gonna do phoneme categorization. Mm, okay. A fancy way of just saying, we're gonna listen to three words and we're gonna find the two words that have the same middle vowel sound. Okay. We did this the other day. So if you remember that, we're gonna do the same thing. You ready for your three words? Ready. ready. Okay. Truck, hang, thump. Do you hear the same vowel sound in two of those words? Truck, hang, thump. I heard mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? It's the uh sound. The uh sound, like in truck and Thump. They both have the uh sound. Mm -hmm. Did you catch it at home too? Great job. All right, let's do another one. Ship, trick, rush. Ship, trick, rush. Which one didn't belong? Well, that has to be rush because it has the uh sound and the other two have the i. Sound. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ship and trick have the ick. Good job. Great thinking. All Thank right. You. Last one. Head, hug, hunk. Do you hear it? What two words have the same sound? Head, hug, hunk. Mm. Oh, this is tricky because they're they all have the same beginning sound, <sighs> but they don't have the same vowel sound. So the one where that does not belong was head because it had the eh sound, but hug and hunk had the uh sound. You got it. And I bet Great you got job. it at home. Mm -hmm. Great job. I love that you're using your ears to listen to the sounds. We have to be able to hear our sounds before we start working with some phonics with Mrs. Hammock later. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, but before we do that, Let's get I think some, we should wiggle. Get some wiggles out. So stand up, get yourself some space, and here it comes. Let's do it. This one's called Proper Nouns and Special Nouns.
was awesome. Such a great Ooh. way to warm up our brains and get the, those smart juices mm -hmm. pumping. That's ready right. Ready to learn to read. And today, not only are we going to build some or blend some words, but we're going to read a story together <gasps> using our digraphs. Let's head over to our word wall. All right, so for our word work today, we are going to be talking about our digraphs. Remember, a digraph is two letters working together, but they only make one sound. So we have the thumb card, that's the th sound, and we also learned that it has a, a harder sound, and it's the th sound. So we have a soft th with its just air, and a harder sound that's the th sound. All right, then we have the shell card, and that's spelled with an SH, and the sound is shh. And then we have the sing card with the NG, spelled NG, ng, and we use it with a vowel. So it says ing when it's with an I, ang when it's with an A, ong when it's with an O, and ung when it's with a U. All right, we've been practicing that all week long, and today we're going to do some word building, and then we're gonna jump over and read a story. But I thought for our word building, we probably could use some friends to help us. Hey guys, are you ready to help me build some words? I sure am, I'm Great. ready. Great, Great, that's awesome. Oh, there you are. I wondered if, where you were. I'm here. I'm so glad, all right. So today I have this word, we're gonna blend it, and then we're gonna change some letters around to see if we can make some new words. And I need your help, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I think, I I think, think Thursday, maybe you need to go slow. do a dance. You need to wake up. All right, here we go. It's, it's, I'm never on this side. I, 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 sorry. I know, it kind of threw you off, didn't it? All right, here we go. I'm gonna say the sounds. I want you to blend it together and tell me my word. M, a, th, m, a, th. Ooh, ooh. I think I got it. All right, what do you think, Tina? Math. It's math. Right. I, I do like to do math. That's great. Good job. Math. Now, did you notice that in the word math, the digraph came at the end of the word? With th, and sh, they can either be at the beginning of a word or at the end. Now, not the ng though. That's gonna always be found either in the middle or the end of the word. So be on the lookout for that when you're reading. Oh. All right, here we have math, and I wanna change it so that it says mash. What do I need to change to make it say mash? Mm, uh, I know this one. Okay. Uh, mm, ash, mm, as the say. Yep. So we're just going to change the ending sound to the shh, shh. You are right. And the two the, letters that make that sound are what? SH. SH, that's right. Ma, shh. I want you to be training your eyes to look for those SH together so that you make sure you don't read it m ass because that wouldn't make sense. That's it's, silly. Isn't that crazy? That's not a word. No, it's just one sound when we see those. Uh, sorry. That's that okay. Funny. It was really, really funny sounding. All right, if I have mash and I want to change it to rash, rash, what do you think I should do? I, I know, I know. Tell me. So we're going to change the beginning sound. And so we're gonna take away the mm. Okay. And we're gonna put r, ash. So we need an r. Very at the nice. Yes, we do. Very good. R, ash, rash. You did that very well. Thank you so much for your help. Thanks. I'm gonna let you guys go because my friends at home are gonna help me read a story that has some digraph words in it. Okay. 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 We'll Bye. see you guys later. Bye. All right, friends at home, today we are going to read the story, Dash Has a Wish. 
I want you to read with me, but I also want you to have your eyes on the lookout for those digraphs. Here we go. Dash is a fish. Dash can swim fast. He has a wish. Dash wants to help all fish. Then he spends the day helping the fish. The fish all get help from Dash. Did you see some of those digraph words? Did you see his name has a digraph? And he's a fish. But did you also see that your high frequency word want is in there? How cool is that? Do you see how those pieces all work together? We'll come back and finish some more later, but this reminds me that it's time for us to practice our high frequency words with Mrs. Nix. And I just love that, Mrs. Hammock. Thank you so much for sharing with us. So today I have lots of things that are happening because I have lots of ways for us to practice those high frequency words. Those words that we see in our stories and we're using them in our writing. So we had five words this week that we've been practicing, so read them with me. Here we go. All, call, day, her, and want. Now today, we're gonna focus on this word here. Her, say her. Excellent. Spell it with me. H-E-R spells her. You got it, great job. Let's put it in a sentence. Beth lost her big bag. Did you see that? Yeah, Beth lost her big bag. Great job. Okay, now it's time for a game. I'm gonna have Mrs. Hammock come on back. <laughs> and this is something that you can play at home, you can play by yourself, but it's always more fun to play with a friend. So for thanks, sure. friend, for coming and playing You're with me welcome. today. You're welcome, I love to play games. All right, here's how it is. I wrote all of our sight or all of our high frequency words out onto our cups. Now, underneath one of our cups is a prize. <gasps> Ooh. But you only get to peek underneath of the cup if you say the word correctly. Oh. Mm. Okay, so let me get this straight. Only one of the cups has a prize. I only put one under there okay. today. Now, your prizes could be lots of different things. You could have something like a cotton ball. <laughs> yes, you, you could. Know. Absolutely. I'll wait till you see today's. Oh, Ooh, it's kind of spooky. Okay. All right. So, you want to go first because you're my guest. I would love to. All right. Which oh, one do you want to pick? How do I choose? Oh, I. Okay. I'm going to choose the one right in the middle. This says day. Is she correct? Yes, she is. Okay. Let's look. Okay. Please, 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 please. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do today's word. <clears throat> today's word was her. So let's look. Oh, oh, nothing under there. All right. I'm feeling it. You can do it. Well, since our story about Dash the fish had the word wants in it, I'm mm. going to choose want. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. <gasps> ah! Yes! Look at Awesome. Ooh, this is a She's great gonna have a little prize. Snack. So you can do anything like this at home to practice and make it be fun. All right, we're gonna kick it over to a story and then we're gonna practice a little retelling and rereading in just a moment. We'll see you in a second, bye. Nell's Books by Miriam Cohen, illustrated by Emily Shalaw. Nell liked to read, she liked it a lot. Nell could sit and read all day long. Will you play with us, Nell? called Cat and Dog. Shh, said Nell, I am reading. Will you shop with me, Nell? asked Pig. Shh, said Nell, this is good. That Nell is not fun at all, said Dog. She just reads, said Cat. She will not do a thing. Then one day it rained. Dog and cat set up a tent. Pig got dressed up for fun. 
This is good, said Dog. Yes, said Pig and Cat. It rained the next day, too. We want to go out, said Dog. We are sick of tents and dressing up, said Pig and Cat. Nell went to her shelf. Here, Dog, she said. I think you will like this. Yuck, said Dog. This will be fun for Pig, said Nell. Cat, you will like this a lot. Ick, said Cat and Pig. Shh, said Nell. Let's read. Dog read in his tent. Pig read in a tub. Cat read in a pot. They read all day long. This is fun, said Cat and Dog and Pig. The next day, Nell heard clanging. She heard banging. Nell, come quick, called Dog. We did this for you, said Dog. You can hand out books to all, said Cat. Nell is good at that, said Pig. That is just my wish, said Nell. Nell got in. Let's hand out books, she said. Shh, said Dog and Cat and Pig. Let us read. Oh, I love this story because I love to read. Oh, now could be my friend. Oh, she could, couldn't she? That was a great story. But we're going to work on something today that has to do with looking at the text and the illustration. I, I, I can't retell the story. <clears throat> nope, you're not. But you can help me because my question today says, what do the text and illustration tell you about Nell? So how am I, are we going to find that answer? Well, here's a clue. We're going to read, read pages. 66 to 67, we're going to write three things that we know about Nell. And then we're going to tell them where we found the clues to help us. So can you do that? I guess. I can help you. Well, thank you, Rita. Ricky, I, 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 I could read the pages and then you could tell her the answers. Great idea. Okay, so. Can you help me read, read page 66 and 67? Rita? Yes, I can! Okay. All right. Nell liked to read. She liked it a lot. Nell could sit and read all day long. Will you play with us, Nell? Called Cat and Dog. Shh! said Nell. I am reading! Great reading, Rita. No wonder they call you reading, Rita. I know, because <laughs> I, I love to read. You do such a great job reading. So let's go back and write about what we know about Nell. OK, thank you, Rita. I'm going to have Ricky help me with this. <clears throat> OK, Ricky, you can Bye. help me. Thank you, Rita. So what do we know about Nell? We know that we know that she's an elephant. You're right. We do know that she's an elephant. Now, where did I find that clue? Did I find it in the illustrations or did I find it in the text? Mm, the picture shows me she's an elephant. That's right. The picture shows that she's an elephant. So we found that clue in the illustration, right? Now, what's another thing that we know about or another clue that we know about now? Mm, oh, I, I remember. She, she loves to read. You're right. Now, who, what gave us that clue? Was it the illustration, the text? It, it was both. You're right. The text said it. Nell liked to read right here. And look at this illustration. I see her holding a book and reading. So the text and the illustration showed me that she likes to read. Now, what's another thing that I know about Nell? Mm, she could read all day. You're right. She could read all day. Now, where did I find that clue? It was in the text. I was listening when Rita reread that story. Oh, she reread pages 66 and 67. You're right. And where was it? It was in the text. You're right, because it's right here. It says, Nell could sit and read all day long. Good job. So, if I know these about Nell, and this is where I found all my clues, let's see if we can answer the question. What do the text and illustration tells you about Nell? So, I know from the text and illustration that Nell is what? 
She's an elephant who loves to read. Let's see if you are right. Did you get that answer too, boys and girls? Let's see. Is she an elephant that likes to read a lot? Yes, she is. Awesome job. You guys did a great job helping me figure out um, something about Nell by using the text and the illustration. Awesome job. Okay, now let's go into our writing. Here's our writing prompt today. It says, it's a fun one today, write a fantasy story and that just means it's a maybe. It's a make-believe story, it's a, so use your imagination. We can make up anything we want, but let's keep reading. What do we need to write about? We need to write about, oh, a cat, and that's her name, Cat, and how she helps her friends. Uh, why can't it be about donkey? Oh, ne next time, Ricky, I, I, I didn't think about writing about a donkey next time, okay? So let's have our friends come and help us, and let's brainstorm what are some things you think Cat likes to do and how can she help her friends because she likes to do something special, just like Nell, because Nell loved to read and she was able to help her friends because she loves to read. So, oh, look it, your friends are here already. They know that it's writing time and so they are here to help us write. Hello, Tina, hello, Rita. Thank you for helping us with our writing. You guys are so good at writing right now. Hello, hello Mrs. Fang, we're so excited to be here. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. So we're gonna be writing a fantasy story. Don't you guys love that? <laughs> Fantasy fun. just means, you guys remember what it means? That we get to make it up. We get to make it up, right? So we're going to imagine our story. So I want you guys to give me some ideas. So our character is going to be Cat. What do you think Cat is going to like to do? Hmm. Well, there's lots of things that mm. she could like to do. Mm -hmm. I, I think she would like to shop. Oh, oh I'd, love, I'd love to one. shop. Yeah, shop. That's amazing. You may even one. think of that one. Mm -hmm. You know what? I also like to draw. Oh, good one. Okay, you guys at home think of what you think that cat will like to do. Well, I know, I, I think cats like to clean themselves, so maybe she likes to clean. Oh, that's a good one too. Okay, so now that we have our ideas down, right, we have cat likes to, and you see how I started my sentence, cat likes to shop, draw, or clean. Hmm, we're gonna pick one, and then we're gonna write how she's going to be able to help her friends, okay? How about draw? Okay, can we pick draw? Well, you guys, can we pick draw? Yeah, that's, that's a good one, okay. I love to draw. Okay, so let's pick draw. So now our sentence is going to say, cat likes to draw. Now we're gonna think of how she can help her friends because she likes to draw, so think of a sentence. Oh, hmm. So I, think, can I write, she can help her friends by shopping at the store for some food? Does that make sense? No, Mrs. Mm -mm. Fing, but you know what? Mm -mm. I have a really good idea. Okay. Because if, if I, because sometimes I'm really good at drawing too, mm -hmm. and to draw, sometimes I draw my, my friends' pictures when they're not feeling very good. <gasps> Oh, and I do it because I like to cheer them up. So maybe Cat likes to do the same thing. Oh, that's, that's a great a idea. Great idea. I oh, love I, that, Tina. My so, here. And I here. have Try seen that. your drawings. They are beautiful. So Tina says that her story is going to say Cat likes to draw. She can help her friends by drawing pictures to cheer them up. Do you like that idea? Oh, I bet you do. Okay. Now. Can you guys think of more ideas? You guys write your ideas and you draw your pictures. And if you want to send it to me, make sure you send them to me so I can read all about your fantasy story. Now, I have another friend who wants to share a great book with you. Let's see what book she's going to share. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hatch. I am a kindergarten teacher at Thomas Elementary. And I absolutely yeah, love books. I mean, I Today like, I have a very reading. special yeah. book I want you to think about reading. It's called Big Bad Wolf is Good. Hmm. I like it because I like to think that everything gets second chances and we can all make good choices. Now, I'm going to show you a quick picture. Hang on. This is how everybody thinks a big bad wolf. But that's not who he wants to be. He wants to be good. I don't know. Do you think big bad wolf can be good? I think you should read it.
that he thought he was really bad. <laughs> that was an awesome story. Oh, I love that. that Thank story. you, Mrs. Hatch, for mm -hmm. sharing such a great story with us. I love oh, 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 I have a knock knock chat. Knock knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, he thought we sneezed. Oh, I like that one. That was actually kind of funny. All right, super readers, we'll see you tomorrow. Have bye -bye. a great one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.